Money Spatters, and welcome to week number, I think it's six, of the WBE. This week, we are taking on also, who is a new coach in the WBE, Mo and Nick dropped out, which means that the space had to be taken up by someone else, which means that I also had to rebuild my team because I built a team for Mo, and then Auto came and take over, took over, and I had to basically rebuild my team from scratch. So that was fun. But we're gonna quickly get into this. We're not gonna waste any time. Make sure you're following the YouTube channel in the description, the WBE YouTube channel. Lots of cool stuff over there if you're not already. We are trying to bounce back after a couple of losses, and we're just gonna have to hope for the best, really. We're just gonna have to hope for the best. I'm gonna try my absolute best. Um, we have a good team here. I'm confident in the team. The matchup is a lot better than last week, so hopefully we will do something good here. So, first off, we have our Mega Gyarados. Uh, which is pretty run-of-the-mill. It's pretty decent. It's got Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Crunch, and Warfall. You know, nothing super special going on there. It is adamant, has a lot of attack investment, a lot of speed, and a little bit of bulk. Nothing special going on there. Then we have Biggin, who is not a setup set this week. We are sassy with the Wiki Berry, just in case the Scizor bug bites me. It'll confuse the Scizor if it eats my berry. That's the only reason why, if it has a minus special attack nature. That's really the only reason why. We have Recycle, Toxic, Fire Punch, and Facade on that. Pretty good set. It does hit very hard, which is why we like it. And it's a nice little pivot to get around with our uh, hard-hitting mons as well. Then we have Gourmet, our Assault Vest Escavalier here. Here for the Latios. Actually, I didn't read off their team. Their team is Latios, Raikou, Cobalion, Gramble, Tangela, Mega Camerupt, Salazzle, Scizor, Slowbro, and Volibi. And we already fought Salazzle and Slowbro so far this season. Season. Jesus, the pre-battle nerves getting me. We already battled them this season, but John dropped them and also picked them up just before we battled. So now we have to battle them again. So hopefully it's not another Turbo situation, but we'll see. But we have ourselves a specially defensive Gourmet here with the Pursuit for the Latios. Hopefully that'll come in handy. The last time I tried to pursue a Latios, they got frozen, so we'll see. Uh, we have a support Macho Man this week with Vault Switch, Defog, Light Screen, and Nature's Madness, of course. Defog being incredibly important after what happened last week, and I'm never going to use that stupid Venomoth again. But we did make some trades. We actually traded... Uh, we didn't trade Venomoth. We, trade, we traded Swoobat for Zotu, and we traded Typhlosion for Delphox. So this is the last time you're going to see Pockets, so hopefully you can go out with a bang here. We are modest with Blaze, which is actually a purposeful choice, just in case we get low health in the end game, we can spam, you know, boosted flamethrowers. With Nature Power, which Nature Power in Electric Terrain is Thunderbolt, which is really good for the Slowbro. Uh, we have Hidden Power Water for the Camera Up, Eruption, and Flamethrower. Pretty simplistic as that goes. And then we have Hibbo, who is Stealth Rocks, Slack Off, Earthquake, Whirlwind. Nothing super special there. Has a nice little bit of phasing in case, for example, the Latios wants to step in front of me. We can Whirlwind that out because usually a Latios would be free to step in front of me, and I don't like that at all. So we'll have Whirlwind in the back just for that. But that is the squad. We're going to connect up with Auto right now. His link will be in the description. I'm very scared. I always get scared. I always get nervous about these battles, but if you guys are supporting the team, please do let me know in the comment section below. We got the we got the Nidorans shirt on today to support the squad. So if you want to buy a shirt, the link is in the description. The Nidoran shirt isn't there, but all of our merch is. And if you're in the sub discord, you get 10% off all merch. So join the sub discord if you're a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber. Without further ado, let's get on with the battle. Moments later. All right, we are all connected up. Let's see what he's bringing. Let's see what we're doing. Let's see what's going on here. So he brought the camera up. Let's see. He, he did. Oh, he brought the Gramble. Interesting. He didn't bring. What did he not bring? He didn't bring the Slowbro, which is interesting. So no Slowbro. And I wasn't expecting the Gramble to come. Oh, no Raikou either, which is kind of cool. That kind of gets rid of something really fast for him. And no Salazzle either. Ah, so I could have brought. We could have had Toxic Spikes. Actually, Toxic Spikes wouldn't have been that helpful. But looking at this team, honestly, like. Hibbo is a really, really, really nice start. I don't see Tangler leading because Tangler is more of a pivot than anything else, and Tangler doesn't exactly match up well against a lot of my team. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to lock in Hibbo and we're going to see what exactly he wants to do. Of course, there's a lot of moves that Hibbo can get that can threaten his team, like Fire Fang for Scizor. There's, of course, Earthquake for the Cabalion and for the Camera Up. If he leaves Latios, that's kind of like worst case scenario, but even if he Ice Beams me, that does do less than half. Or it should do... No, no, no. Wait, actually, hold on. It does around... Let's see. Oh, I need to take a picture of the team. <laughs> Don't forget to take a picture of the team, Daniel. That would have been a... 
That would have been an absolute mess. That would have been. Okay. So, we are good to go. Hopefully, we can get a nice little W to kind of bring us back a little bit. Bring us back. But let's see what he leads off with here. Ideally, for me, I want to keep rocks off the field because rocks are bad. Rocks are very bad for me, very bad for my team. And I want to get my own rocks up because I have a feeling he's going to be switching a lot, which is going to be really good for me. So he leads off with the camel. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty, pretty good. He might have predicted Tapu Koko. You know, it doesn't really matter what he predicted because we're in a pretty safe situation here. So camera up. I don't see him staying in here. I'd be really surprised if he did, but if he's max special attack modest, a fire, wow, this thing is so strong. A fire blast does a lot, but earthquake does a lot to him as well. And I'm gonna outspeed him too. Or at least I should, yeah, I should outspeed him too. So I feel pretty good just getting my rocks up here. Uh, if he goes for a fire blast like right off the bat, I'd be really surprised. I just don't see it happening, especially when I have like a flash fire I'm on in the back that could potentially be carrying some kind of quad effective move. Uh, I do see a switch out first turn, so I am just going to lock in the rocks here and see what happens. Yeah, he does switch out. He's probably going to go into the Latios. Or he's going to go into Noodles, which is the Tangler, which is fine because I get my rocks up. I keep rocks off the field. That's pretty ideal. That's a nice little turn one situation. We do have a pretty easy pivot here, so I'm going to have to try and figure out what kind of Tangler this is. I don't have... Um... To be fair, I don't really have much to... Like, what does Tangler do? Before I, before I switch into anything, Tangela. What does what does Tangela do? Because I almost want to go into my Tapu Koko and just like, just kind of mess around with it a little bit. Let's see, Tangela, Tangela can do a few things. It can, does it like Earthquake or something? It can Giga Drain, it can knock off. Um, locking off my leftovers and Macho Man would be pretty bad actually. It can, oh, it can Sleep Powder. Oh, it's gonna Sleep Powder me, isn't it? It's gonna freaking sleep powder me, I can already tell. Oh, I don't wanna- I don't wanna go to sleep. Okay, if anything is gonna go to sleep, what do I wanna go to sleep? I don't really want anything to go to sleep, honestly. I bet, I bet it's gonna freaking sleep powder me. I just know it is. I don't wanna get knocked off, though. Like, knock off would be a really, really, really bad thing to happen to my Snorlax. Even though that's kinda like my switch in here. Uh, I, I might just switch into Tapu Koko, now that I think of it. That's kind of like a safe little middle ground play. I'm gonna go into, yeah, we're gonna go into Macho Man. We're gonna go into our top Rococo here. And see what this Tangler has. It's If this thing sleep powders me, I'm gonna be upset. But, I mean, he didn't bring the Raikou to take advantage of the Electric Surge, so that's pretty good news for me. He is gonna knock off. Okay, so my leftovers are gone. Um, I can go for a Nature's Madness here or just set up a light screen. What would be more beneficial to me here? He has the camera up and the Latios as really, really, really hard hitting special attackers, but that's kind of like it. So I could Nature's Madness here on the on the camel switch in and do a lot of damage to that thing. But then again, what switches in on camel? Camel is really hard to switch into unless I get a light screen up. So ideally, I want to get a light screen up here, right? I probably do because then things come in on camel a lot easier. I won't get to damage it. Oh, but it doesn't get any recovery though. Hmm. And, I, you know, what else is he going to bring in on this thing right now? The only thing he's going to bring in on it, it's got to be, it's got to be the freaking camel, right? So I can Nature's Madness here. I mean, that's his switch in. That's his switch in every time. And if he stays in, then I just get like a nice little half off on health with him. You know, that's, that's fine. I'm totally okay with that. But yeah, let's go for the Nature's Madness. So he is going to withdraw. If he goes into the camel, that thing's going to take a bunch of damage. He does go into camel. Okay, that thing's going to take a bunch of damage right now. Which is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I was going to say, if we missed that, I'd be really upset. But that thing takes a bunch of damage. Which is solid, because that's non-recoverable damage. As far as I'm aware, he doesn't, he doesn't have like any Wish users here. Um, so, knock off. So that thing's pretty injured now, which is really good. I would love to U-turn. I would even like to set up a light screen now. I'm pretty sure if I set up a light screen now, I'd die. <laughs> I don't think I can live. Tapu, let's just see. Mega camera up. If I had a light screen up, let's see. I could technically live at Earth Power if I had a light screen up. I don't think it's worth it though. Because I can switch into my my big in, my Snorlax here, and he pretty much eats up. Oh my god. Oh my god. This that can't be right. My god, you're so good at eating these hits. So I'm totally down to just go into my Snorlax here. 
and uh, potentially start toxicing some things if I if I can. That'd be great. I mean, he does have two steel types here, which is not great for toxicing things, but he is going to stay in. He's probably going to fire off a big fire blast here. According to these calcs, he should be doing 25% with fire blast, which is absolutely insane. Or he could set up the stealth rocks. Yeah, he is going to set up the stealth rocks. Okay. So what does he bring in versus me now? Honestly, I kind of just want a toxic. Because if he goes... No, he might, he might, he might go into Cavalian. Actually, I mean, honestly, Fire Punch is kind of free. Because even if I stay in, even if I get the prediction wrong here, and he stays in and attacks me, he doesn't do that much damage. So I kind of want to Fire Punch predicting like Scizor or Tangler or Cabalion coming in, which to Scizor? We're probably doing like a real big chunk of damage right there. Fire Punch has a chance to kill. Well, I mean, it's probably not going to kill. But, I mean, it kills if he's got no, uh, like, buffness. No buffy investment there. So, I could just go for the I, I really, I'm tempted. Hold on. Cobalion. If I fire punch a Cobalion, how much is that doing? It's doing... Wow, that's not as much as I thought it would do, actually. Wow, that's really disappointing, Snorlax. But it's better than toxicking and having, like, yeah, I'm just gonna fire punch here. Oh, I called it wrong and he stayed in. That's unfortunate. We'll see what he wants to do here, though. He's gonna go for Toxic. I'm actually kind of okay with that, because now I can click Facade. Because there's no way he's gonna go into Scizor or Cobalion now. And let's see, he might want to... I think he's gonna want to keep this thing alive, so I'm gonna click Facade now. Because that gives me a nice little buff right there. That's a, that's a 140 base power Facade now. So I don't think he's gonna go into Tangler. I don't think he's gonna go into Cobalion now that I've revealed my Fire Punch on the prediction. Uh, the fact that he, he is rocks and toxic. Okay, so rocks, toxic, and you are currently, you're currently pretty weakened. So you're weakened. Gonna have to try and keep an eye on this. Okay, so I don't think he's gonna go into sizzle. He's gonna go into noodles, uh, which is about to take a very, very, very big facade. I mean, it's not gonna do a huge amount of damage, but it will be decent. Like this should do a decent amount of damage here. Wow, that didn't do as much as I thought it would, honestly. I was expecting a little bit more, but he's probably going to knock off now. Uh, which is less than ideal. Kind of... I, I don't want him to knock off my... In fact, if anything, I should probably switch into Macho Man again. If anything. Because, I, I, I mean, knock off is safe. He's going to want to get rid of my berry. And he can just synthesis up. So he has really nothing to worry about when it comes to that. And then I can maybe get my, uh, get my light screen up. See, the thing is, with rocks up on my side, that makes things a lot more difficult for me. But he could also predict that. Because Gyarados and Typhlosion are like my win conditions, and they're gonna get like super chipped coming in, so I'd really rather get rid of the rocks on my side. But he managed to get them up, which is annoying. Okay, I'm gonna go into Macho Man predicting uh, another knockoff, because he's probably gonna want to get rid of my berry. Because if he knocks off my big berry, I can't recycle it back. So, I want to make sure that I can keep a hold of that. And then I think I'm gonna light screen. But we'll see what happens here. So the electric surge goes up, and he goes for he goes for the leech seed, which is annoying. I kind of wish I toxic him now. I really thought he was gonna knock off there. I do wish I toxic him. This thing is gonna be this thing is gonna be so annoying. I can already tell. Um, I think I'm gonna light screen here. Yeah, I kind of do want a light screen. We'll just get that up. Yeah, we'll just we'll just get the light screen up. I don't see a reason not to. Cause he's gonna go back into his camel, right? Yeah, he's get, he, his switching every time is the camel, but that's slowly getting chipped down, and with the light screen up, I can fight this thing so much easier. In fact, with the light screen up, I might just be able to go out into my hippo. Oh, he's gonna get his health back. I don't like that. I need this thing dead, ideally. And that's not- that leech seed didn't help me at all. So, I mean, I, I, my, my Macho Man is slowly getting chipped, um, which is not great. But I can go into my hippo now. He might want to toxic me. I don't think he's going to Toxic when I can just go back out into my... Hmm, he's not going to Toxic if I can just go back out into Snorlax. So if anything, I think he just fires off a big hit. Actually, no, 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 he might switch out. He might switch out because the light screen went up. So light screen, I mean, light screen tells me how many turns it's up, so... What do I think he's going to do? I mean, hmm... Hmm, I think Hippo is a good switch here. Kinda do... 
I kind of don't like that noodles being around though. Um, it's either Snorlax or it's Hippowdon. I just have to really think like, what do I want to bring in here? Because you go, you could go into a physical attacker, which I can whirlwind a lot of physical attackers around, which is decent. In fact, if he goes into a physical attacker, that's absolutely fine because I can whirlwind them. So. Let's go ahead and get out into our Hippowdon here. And hopefully it doesn't Toxic us. If he Toxics us on that switch there, then that's like massive, but I'd be surprised. He Toxics on the switch. I could have just went into Snorlax like totally free. I'm really surprised that he did that, honestly. I am really surprised that he did that. But okay, he did do it. There's nothing we can do about it now. You can't change the past. Uh, I can well win this thing though, because I, I don't see him staying in here. So I can whirlwind him around and over to a few things and just kind of see what happens. You know, just have a little bit of fun with it. See what comes in. Because, I mean, he's not, there's no way he's going to let this thing die. And his, his switch into... Oh, I mean, his switch into me is is Latios, though. But I can't switch directly... No, I can't switch directly into my freaking Escavalier in a situation like this. I can't do that. So I'm going to whirlwind because I think he's going to switch out. Yeah, he is going to switch out because he knows he needs to keep the camel alive. He's going to go into Noodles. I'm just going to Whirlwind. Oh, it has Regenerator. So I'm just going to Whirlwind. We're going to get out into something. So I'm really not gaining anything here. If anything, I'm losing because of the, the toxic damage racking up. Uh, we bring the Scizor out, though. So that's nice. We do bring the Scizor out. I do have a Typhlosion in the back, though. I really wish... I mean, I could Earthquake this thing. I guess. Hmm... Do I mean he might just switch out again though? He might just switch out again. Uh, I don't want to go directly into my Escavalier because I'm keeping that in the back for the Latios. I could go into my Gyarados here and try and set up. But then again, like the noodles is totally full. The noodles is full! I don't like the noodles being full. I really don't like it. He might try and Swords Dance here though, and Swords Dance would be bad news bears for me. If I go into Pockets. If I go into pockets, I could risk losing a lot of health here. Mm, I don't want this thing to Swords Dance. If this thing's... Yeah, that thing Swords Dance. How much damage am I doing with Earthquake? Hold on. I am doing... Hippo... I don't think I'm doing enough. In fact, this is probably... Actually, he might not Swords Dance when I can Whirlwind, but... He might still actually try and do it, because he, I don't think he has much to lose doing that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna Whirlwind again. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Earthquake. I'm gonna Earthquake. I'm gonna Earthquake. Let's see what happens here. He might switch out. He does, He goes for the U-turn. Okay, so he can just bring in whatever he wants. In fact, I... Oh my god, that's banded! There's no way that's not banded. That is banded 100% of the time. U-turn. That is so banded, dude. That's crazy damage. I hate the fact that he's toxicing everything, though, because that really, that really, really, really sucks for me. Uh, I can't... He's just going to leech seed this turn. He is just gonna leech seed this turn. There's no reason for him not to. Oh, I don't like how we're getting whittled down here. I really don't like how we're getting whittled down. And he has knockoff in the back too. And he's just gonna leech seed. I don't like this at all. Um, I can go into Gourmet. If he leech seeds. I go into Gourmet. How much damage can I do with a Mega Horn to like? Uh, but then again, he has. I, I don't think he'd switch Gramble in. Let's see, a Scavalier. I need to start hitting things really hard, that's the thing. Tangela. So, a Scavalier to Tangela. Mega Horn is doing Mega Horn. Dude, this thing is so bulky. I wish I got this thing toxic a while ago. That would have been so much more beneficial to me. That would have been so good. I, th I definitely think he's going to Leech Seed. There's no reason for him not to. Let's see. Would I kill Camerupt? Mega Camer... Camerupt. Would I kill Camerupt if I... Mega Horned. It would kill Camerupt if I Mega Horned, I think. With the Stealth Rock damage, I think so. It wouldn't kill Gramble, but then I can Iron Heads. But then he can Fire Punch and just kill me, so that's probably not a great idea. It wouldn't do a huge amount to Kabalion, and Kabalion's probably a switch in there. Although I could predict that and go back out into... Oh, I'm losing... Oh, I'm losing my, my walls here. To preserve the health on my on my to see the stealth rocks are re the stealth rocks suck really that's the that's the biggest issue we're having here is the stealth rocks are really bad for me so we're gonna come into this thing 
Hopefully, I mean, maybe he misses Leech. Okay, he goes for the Giga Drain. That's that's actually that's that's best case scenario, really. That's best case scenario. So what just switch into? Oh, light screen. That's right. I forgot the light screen was up. What's just switch into this now? Cause I can just fire off a big Mega Horn, and like that's doing a huge amount of damage to pretty much anything. He wouldn't switch in Cabalion. What is this switch in here? Sizzle. If anything. Sizzle. Let's see. His banded sizzle. I mean, and why though? No, I don't think so. What is this switch into Megahorn? Cobal. Co. Cobalion. Let's see. Um. I mean, actually, he can switch into Megahorn, yeah. With Cabalion. But then again, he doesn't. He doesn't really hurt me with much, and I can just drill run. Do I drill run this turn? Because there's no way he's going to stay in, right? I really, really, really want to drill run this turn just to see what's going to happen. I'm going to drill run. I'm going to drill run. I, I'm predicting the switch here. He, he switches out. Okay, something about to take a lot of damage. Okay, so we get the scissor in here. That's like a safe middle ground play for him. If we can get a crit on this drill run, that'd be ideal. So what does he have for me then? We do get a little bit of damage off on him. It's not a huge amount. Uh, but it is like a little bit of chip, which is nice. I don't really want to take too much chip on my Escavalier. That's the only thing. I don't like taking the chip, you know? Don't like taking bloody chip. Uh, I can go into Gyarados. But Gyarados wouldn't kill, I don't think. I mean, he might just U-turn again. He might U-turn here. Or, yeah, he's not going to roost. Because I'm pretty sure he's banded. How, hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna double check this damage. Sizzle. I, I'm like convinced that he's banded here. That did so much damage. Yeah, that's that, that's like the only way. It's the only way. So he's gonna be banded into something here. Did he did he bring tech for my for my Escavalier? What kind of tech can you even bring for Escavalier? I don't even know. I, I re I'm really trying to think about what kind of tech you can bring for a Scavalier. Pursuit, superpower. Hmm. I don't know. Superpower does do a lot of damage, actually. Superpower does a lot of damage. Uh, I might sack off Hippo here. Though I don't, I don't really want to sack off Hippo. This is a hard choice. I kind of want to drill run again. Hmm. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm just gonna drill run. I don't know what he's doing. I really don't know. He's going for a knockoff. Okay, so my assault vest is gone. Which is... Oh my god, that does so much damage! That's ridiculous how much damage that does. But he's he's banded into knockoff now. So I could probably go into Macho Man. Because that's resisted. I don't have an item. God, that's so ridiculous. That's, that's ridiculous damage that is. Absolutely ridiculous. Because I still need a Scavalier to kill the, the Tangler. Or at least as an answer as, as an answer to the Tangler. So let's get rid of my item. If I'm holding no item, then knockoff will do. Knockoff will do like 20%. And then maybe I should defog. Yeah, I'm thinking I should defog here. Because he 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 has to hard switch, right? What's he gonna hard switch into? Because he's not going to kill me. And he wants to keep his Proto Man alive because that thing can uh, banded Bullet Punch later on. So I'm going to go into Macho Man. I think I want to defog here. The sad thing is, I can't actually... I can't actually kill the, um, the camera ups, Which is upsetting. But let's see, we get the Electric Surge up. I think I want to defog these rocks away because they're hurting my team way too much. Yeah, he just goes go for the knockoff again. Okay, this shouldn't do too much. That's quite a bit of damage. I don't know if that kills. Hold on. Does that kill me again? There's like, uh, if he gets if he gets one of the highest rolls possible, he can kill me here. One of the highest rolls possible, and he can kill me. But I am gonna defog here. He is gonna withdraw. He's probably gonna go back into camel. So the camel's gonna take the damage, and then I'm gonna defog the rocks away. So that's that's a pretty good situation to leave ourselves in. Yeah. So see, he takes the damage. We get that away. He's probably going to set the rocks back up again, though. Like, right now. Like, I, I would not 
He's probably gonna set the rocks back up, isn't he? Oh, but... What if I were to go into Gyarados now? The thing is, though, the Tangler is way too much... The, the Tangler has so much health. Maybe he thinks that... Yeah, he's probably gonna set the rocks back up now. Which means I need to keep Macho Man in the back just so I can defog again later on. Um, so I can go into Gyarados now. But the ta the Tangler just comes in. Or the Gramble, actually. They're both, both big issues. They're both big issues. I don't like this Tangler, man. Unless I just go into my Typhlosion right now. If I pull into my Typhlosion right now, that's gonna be the biggest ball play of the century. It really will be. He's gonna get his rocks up no matter what. Like, I can't kill it from this range. I wish I had, like, HP water or something. That'd be great. Um, do I go into Typhlosion right now? On impossible Earth Power? No, because I have Gyarados in the back. I have Snow. He's just going to set the rocks. Absolutely, he's going to set the rocks. Because I can also go into Gyarados here, and he doesn't want to, you know, give me a free turn to set up that for nothing. So, I'm going to go into Pockets here. Oh, this is probably the, the throw of the century. Oh, it probably is. It probably is, dude. It probably is. It, I think he's going to set the rocks again, though. He did! Oh, thank God that wasn't the... That was very close to being the throw of the century, I'm not gonna lie. See, now I can just fire up a big eruption now and just enjoy myself with that. Uh, a big monster eruption is gonna do a huge amount of damage to anything. Like, anything- it, something dies now, so I'm just gonna eruption. Or, not- not- some, something doesn't die, but, I mean, if even if the Latios comes in, the Latios is taking big damage from that. Unless it's like AV or something. Typhlosion versus Latios. Let's see. I want this camel dead, man. I want this camel dead. Oh, he's he's letting it die. He's letting it die. Bless up, man. Bless up. Bless up. So he's letting it die. Perfect. That's great. So now I can Volt Switch pretty much freely, which is good. I always like that. Uh, he's probably going to go into the Latios now. I would imagine. I don't see I don't see any reason why he'd go into anything else here. Um, but my Latios answers are actually quite weakened. Which is not great. Uh, so I could sack off my, my Hippo, maybe? If anything? I don't know, I need to keep Typhlosion, like, relatively healthy, because even a Flamethrower? Tangela. How much am I doing with a Flamethrower to you? Oh, a Flamethrower kills, actually. A, a Flamethrower does kill. So, that's not actually that bad. Thing is, Latio is just that there's Eon. So what do I go into here? Ah, I hate the fact that this thing just like sits there and just does its does its business, you know? It just does its freaking business. And now the rocks are up on my side too, which I don't really like. Oh, I really need to injure this thing. I mean I could I could eruption right now. No, because he could be scoffed. If anything, I want to sack off my hippo. Because that's... What does Hippo do for me at this point? Not a huge amount. It's just like a pivot. And... Can maybe Whirlwind him if he tries to set up again? Oh, because if I go into Hippo and he Calm Minds, that leaves me in a really, really bad position. Re yeah, really bad position. So I don't think I want to do that. That'd be really, really, really not great. Um, if I go into S-Cav here... I probably die to two hits. So do I need S-Cav? S-Cav's still good for... S-Cav's really just there for the Tangler, I think. It's too... I don't know. I think it's too injured to do anything else at this point. Um, I do want to defog at some point. I'm gonna... Yeah, we're gonna go into Hippo here. I don't know what he's gonna do. But if he Calm Minds here, then I'm pretty scared. I mean, he does pretty much get a free Calm Mind off there. Which I think, yeah, he's probably gonna he's gonna he's just gonna go for the side shock. Okay, so I think this should kill us. This should kill us. Yeah, that's gonna kill us. Okay, so we go down. Um, we get a free switch in versus this Latios. But oh, the stealth rocks are still up. Um, do I just give this Latios another kill? I think I kinda have to, because I need to get rid of these rocks. I think I have to give the Latios another kill. I think I do. Or I could go into big in. And facade. I really need to get rid of these rocks. 
Or I can go into Macho Man and Nature's Madness. Because that could be pretty good. Because that'll do a lot of damage to anything, really. The thing is, I'm too injured. I really need to get rid of these. I mean, I don't know if he's scarfed, though. He could be scarfed. He could be scarfed. And then I wouldn't be able to get rid of the rocks anyway. And if he's scarfed, then I go into Escav. We go into Escav to see if he's scarfed, basically. I'm going to go into Escav and I'm going to click Pursuit. Because I really want damage off on this thing. I really, 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 really want damage off on this thing. If he's scarfed, then Psyshock may not kill. Uh, and if he is, then I just sacked off my Escav for no reason. Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I mean, he might just kill me. Yeah, he might just kill I don't even have my Soul Vest anymore. I think I just sacked off my Escavalier for no reason. Latios. I really want to get rid of I, I just... I, okay, we're using this to kind of tell if he's scoffed or not. Let's see. This Psy, this Psy Shot kill me. Psy Shot shouldn't kill me. So, I'm going to Pursuit. We'll see what happens. He does withdraw. We get the Pursuit off. That's massive damage. Oh, that's such valuable damage there. I love that. I love that. I love that. I absolutely love that. And then Cabalion comes in. And at this point, I can't really save this thing. I just needed to let it go. So I think I'm just going to have to go for the drill run here. Oh, that's huge. That that opens the door for Typhlosion so much. It really, really, really does. It opens the door for Typhlosion so, so, so much. I love that. And I think we just let it go down now. That was huge. Okay, I'm going to drill run here. And we'll see what happens. He is going to close combat me. That that will take me out, but that does that leaves him kind of weakened, actually. So what does he switch into? What does he switch into eruption now? If I if I go in eruption, like something dies here, right? Even if it's seventy five percent health. Unless unless he scoffed close combat. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be bad. Ooh, that'd be bad. What if I go into Macho Man and Volt Switch? Because that gives me a clean switch into... Okay, hold on. I'm going to check Typhlosion really quickly against this Latios and see how much damage I can do to it. 75% health with Eruption. Let's see. 75. Uh, yeah, he could be Scarfed, actually. Uh, oh, we don't do... Ooh, yeah, we don't do too much, actually. Ooh. Do we do more with Flamethrower? We don't do more with Flamethrower. We still do the most amount with that. Oh, that's not... Oh, that's, damn, that's a massive power debuff, isn't it? I mean, it's not that bad, actually. Look into that. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. What do I want to go into here, though? If he scoffed close combat, that's less than ideal. <laughs> Very much so less than ideal, but... I Oh, no, I can go in and defog. I can, macho, I can go into Macho Man defog and then... Yeah, let's do that. Or I could go into Macho Man and light screen. No, there's no point. There's no point light screening at this point. If anything, I've got to, I've got to defog here. And that will reveal whether or not he scoffed. But if he scoffed, then that, that just kind of wins, doesn't it? It might. Yeah, I think it actually might. Scoffed, scoffed close combat might just beat me at this point, I think. Because I, I can't live it like this. Oh, no, this could be bad. Scoffed close combat could just straight up beat me at this point, which would be really, really, really upsetting if that was the case. But I want to defog to get rid of... I want to make sure that my eruption's at full power. That's that's very important for me. So I'm going to defog right now and we'll see. Okay, he's not scoffed. Bless up. Absolutely great news. Fantastic news. Right, fantastic news. He iron heads me to kill me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so... Um, was the Latios scoffed? I don't think it was. Actually, Latios could have been scoffed. Latios might have been. So I go into I go into pockets now, and I just click eruption, and something's dying. Like something is immediately dying on that. Typhlosion's about to get a kill. So Co Cobal, 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 Cobal is not scarf. Bless. Okay. So we go into we go into Typhlosion here. We just click eruption, and then something dies. Beautiful news, beautiful news, beautiful news. I'm just gonna click eruption. Something dies here. Something dies. Something dies. Something. I mean, I hope so. Unless he goes to, like gramble. No, because even gramble. Yeah, even gramble. 
If he goes into Latios, Latios goes down to the Eruption. If he goes into Sizzle, Sizzle goes down to the Eruption. So he's, he's, he has to pick a sack here. And he has to keep Tangela alive, which means I have to keep my Typhlosion alive. It's very important that I keep my Typhlosion alive. Now that I know that this Kabalion isn't Scarfed, like that, it... Oh my god, that's so important. Okay, so... Typhlosion versus Kobal. Let's see, can a Flamethrower kill you? Flamethrower normally can kill you. Wait, what if you're like max health? Flamethrower has a chance to knock. It has an 87.5% chance to Oko if it's at full health. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, he's gonna withdraw. Let's see what he goes into here. He's gonna go into new- he's gonna sack off the Tangler. That's crazy. So there it goes. This thing is straight up dead. Yeah, that thing's dead. That thing is gone. That thing got wiped off the freaking map, dude. And then if the Latios is scarfed, he's gonna bring it in now. And if the Latios is scarfed, I just go into Snorlax. I think. That's that's really the best option. He's gonna okay, Latios is scarfed. I think. I'm like 99% sure it is. So I go into Big in here. I go into my Snorlax here. We just go into Snorlax. We don't think about it. We don't think about it. We don't think about it. We just go into Snorlax here. And then I fire off a big facade. He's gonna Draco me. Okay. So he has Draco. Which means he has to switch now. Uh, and we get all of our health back here. Thanks to the Gluttony! Which is amazing news. And he has to switch. So he's probably gonna go into Gramble, I'd imagine. Okay, he's probably gonna go into Gramble. Which means I want damage off on that thing. And I wanna put that thing in range of Typhlosion. Because if that thing's in range of Typhlosion, literally every time Typhlosion comes back in, something dies. And if I can keep my big and healthy. Oh, but what if he goes into, what if he goes into Cobal? If he goes into Cobal, that's a bit of a, mm, that's a harder situation to deal with actually. How much does Cobal do to me? Let's see. Snorlax versus Cobalion. He doesn't kill me, but my facade does like nothing. Oh my God, my facade does like nothing. I mean, I just have to like break a sash, don't I? I kind of want to. I kind of want to fire punch here. No, I should just. I should just facade. I don't want to throw this match. Um. What can I set up in front of? Actually, if he goes into Cabali, no, I can't switch into Gyarados because he'll just close combat me. Hmm. Hmm. This is a hard play to make here. Because the Scizor, as far as I remember, the Scizor was really injured. So would the Scizor die? Scizor. Would Scizor die? Would Scizor die? I really want to Fire Punch here. I really, really want to Fire Punch. In fact, there's no reason for me not to Fire Punch here. There's no reason for me not to Fire Punch. I'm Fire Punching. There's no reason for me not to Fire Punch. I'm going to Fire Punch this. Okay, the Cabalion comes back in. Maybe we can get lucky with the burn. That'd be really nice. That'd be great. So we get the Fire Punch off here. It's not going to do a huge amount. Yeah, that didn't do a huge amount. Oh my god, we got the burn! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I was kidding. I was kidding! I was kidding. Oh god. Wait, does he have rocks up? No, he, does, he doesn't have rocks up. So actually, I could switch into Gyarados now because he's burned. Hmm. And I need to keep, yeah, I'm gonna switch into Gyarados right now. I need to keep my Typhlosion full health. I'm gonna switch into, I'm gonna switch into Gyarados right now and hope that he doesn't Stone Edge. I think if anything, he has to close combat here. So we lower his attack and, oh, he goes for the Z, but what's the Z? Is that Phytinium? That's absolutely fine. We're gonna eat this up. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. This is gonna be absolutely freaking delicious. In fact, I might be able to get 2D dances up here. No, because he has the Gramble in the back. The Gramble in the back does pose a little bit of an issue still. It definitely does, but we're gonna absolutely dumb. Oh my God, mmm, delicious. Oh, that's so good. I can't believe we got the burn on that fire punch. I feel so bad, dude. But you know what? After what happened last week, we, we take those. We absolutely take those. We do. Um, so if I'm on minus one, uh, oh, I don't have Iron Head. Mm, that could be bad. I don't have Iron Head. I could Dragon Dance another thing. He's just gonna go Gramble though. Does does my does my eruption just kill Gramble? Gramble. 
Ramble, gramble, gramble. Gramble, gramble, gramble. Ooh, it might. He might be AB though. So it might be worth it to get damage off on this thing. So I might just, um, I might just waterfall here. Cause, I mean, what do I need? I guess I kind of need my Gyarados for Latios. I mean, it's scarfed, so I guess that that kind of helps in that way. But yeah, you know what? Let's let's Mega Evolve and go for Waterfall here. Do I do anything else? I don't think I do anything else. So I don't think he's gonna stay in here, unless he's just sacking it off. Ooh, does Waterfall actually kill this thing? I don't know if it does. I might have to Earthquake to make sure I can kill it. Waterfall doesn't kill, Earthquake does. Uh, earthquake does how much to Gramble? I need to make sure this, that the Gramble is in range of Eruption when it comes back in. I think it does It does similar damage, so I'm just gonna Mega Evolve and Earthquake here. So I don't think, he's definitely not, not gonna go straight out into his Latios. He stays in. Oh wait, I'm not gonna outspeed it. I mean, he's he's gonna have like no attack though. This thing's gonna do nothing to me right now, right? This thing shouldn't be able to do any damage to me. Like he's minus one and burned. Oh, he goes for the Vault Switch, okay. So we EQ here. Uh, he's most likely going to go into Gramble to kind of stop me from trying to sweep him. He has to go into Gramble to stop me from sweeping him. Yeah, there's the Gramble. Okay, so minus one. Wait, at minus one. Oh, that wasn't at minus one? Well, why is not why is that not why is it not calking at minus one? What the hell? That's dumb. It's gonna do nothing. Yeah, I did nothing. But that should be in range of uh oh, I just got leftovers. God damn it. Of course he has leftovers. And I think I have to go into uh big in here. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. Which is gonna be less than ideal, but I think I just have to go into big in here. Uh yeah, why is it not calking at minus one? He usually does that. So at minus one attack. Minus one attack. He he went for the earthquake on. Oh, he he predicted the Typhlosion coming in. Wow. I definitely wasn't gonna do that. He's way too important to me. Um, the Cabalion is still alive. I think he, I think he's. Uh, this, this makes things a little bit harder. I know he's not a salt vest though. I just need I just need more damage off on this thing. I just need like a tiny bit more damage off on this thing, and I can sweep with eruption. I think. I think, I think, I think. He's gonna switch out though. He is a hundred percent switching out here. Hmm. Cause the Cabalion, uh, the Cabalion, even though it's burned, it's still good for him. I could recycle. Next turn I'm gonna be put in range. So I'll get, I'll get buffed up again. So recycling this turn could be my, could be my play actually. Oh, this game is going to come down to the wire. It really is. I'm going to recycle this turn. I think he's going to switch. He is going to switch. Okay, so we recycle this turn. We get a berry back, and then Justice comes in. Justice should not be able to kill us from the range that we will be at. Assuming that my berry pops here, which it should. Yeah, my berry's going to pop. Okay. So, okay, this is this is pretty good. Because after my Snorlax dies, I'm pretty sure I just come in with Typhlosion and click Eruption. I'm pretty, 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 I'm like 99% sure. Oh, I really needed like a little bit more damage on the, um... I need a little bit more damage on that, on that thing there. Do I just like stay in here and Fire Punch and try and kill this thing off? That would take away a massive threat to Gyarados. Or do I switch on the close combat? He's definitely close combating here. I think a fire punch plus the burn will kill. Um. Oh man. I don't think he can kill me with the close combat. And even if he does, I just eruption. I'm gonna fire punch here. I hope this is not a throw. He's gonna close combat. He didn't get the. F he's this fighting even the. Oh, it's, it's burned. Of course, that's not gonna kill. I don't know why I thought that was gonna kill for a second. I don't know why I thought that was going to kill. I don't know why I did. So we go for the fire punch here. We get this thing gone. Okay, Cabalion goes down. That's pretty great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Which means even if, the thing is, even if I was, even if he wasn't burned, that still wouldn't have killed me. 
I would still be- I, I mean, the pot toxic probably would have killed me. But that wouldn't have. Uh, so he's gonna go into Gramble here, right? No, he's gonna go into Scizor. Yeah, he's gonna go into Scizor and he has, he has to lock himself into something here. He has to lock himself into something. Um. Oh my god. What does he lock himself into? Probably Bug Bite. If anything. He's probably gonna lock himself into Bug Bite. How much does Bug Bite do to Typhlosion? Let's see. Typhlosion. Because I can't... I can't... Bring in Typhlosion just out of nowhere. Scizor. Oh, this is down to the wire. This is really, really, really down to the wire here. Yeah, I can't I can't switch into Typhlosion now. Uh, I can probably go into Gyarados after this. Well, we'll see. We'll have to see what he locks himself into first. So I'm gonna fire punch here. We'll see what he locks himself into. He goes for the superpower! Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so he kills my Snorlax. He goes for the superpower. I really didn't expect him to do that. But now... I think I can just go into the Gyarados. Hit a fat waterfall a couple times, and then Typhlosion should be able to clear up the rest of this game. I think. I think, I think, I think. I, I just need damage on that Gramble. That's all I need right now. Damage on the Gramble. Hmm... Is that what I need to do here? He went for the superpower, so he's gonna be doing even less damage if he attacks again, but he's not gonna attack, he's not gonna stay in. Let's see, I, I think I just click waterfall, honestly. Oh, no, 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 not crunch, not crunch. Pretty sure, hold on. I'm feeling pretty good about this, so Gramble, I just need, I just need damage on Gramble. The thing is, I, I, oh, the La oh, the Latios, it outspeeds me. He can Draco me with the Laios. Oh no. Does Draco kill me? I think Draco's gonna kill my Typhlosion, isn't it? Draco's gonna kill my Typhlosion. Mmm, do I go into Typhlosion now? I go into Typhlosion now and I just click Corrupt. Wait, why am I even contemplating this? I go into Typhlosion now and click Corruption, right? It kills this thing. This is that. Uh, oh no. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I think I know what to do. This this could really come down to the wire, though. I'm pretty sure- Okay, do I even click Eruption? Or do I just click Flamethrower? He's not gonna hard switch now. I don't think he would. But I think Flamethrower might be a good shout. Oh, God, this is such a hard play to make here. I'm gonna click Eruption, I think. Kill this thing. He goes into Latios. I switch into Gyarados. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, dude, that's such a This is such a hard freaking match, right? Oh no, I think I think he I think he might have won. I think he's I think he's got it. It's gonna it's gonna really come down to it. If I go for I'm gonna kill this thing off with Eruption. Right? Oh, that Latios in the back. I hate that Latios being in the back. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click Eruption this turn. He actually, he withdrew. Okay, what does he go out into? He's gonna sack off the Gramble. That's, that's really good for me. Because I need him, oh, I need him to Draco. That's gonna die, right? That thing immediately dies. Okay, that's good news. Or is he gonna, he's, I need him to, I need him to Draco meet your me, right? Maybe the Dra maybe a minus two Draco plus a bullet punch kills me. Maybe. Mm. Do I live a Draco? Does 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 it does it live a Draco? Gyarados. Oh, that that's that banded bullet punch might win it for him in the end. I need to think like, do I switch now? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I should have probably just clicked flamethrower on it. I should have just clicked flamethrower, right? I don't. I mean, I don't think I live this. Latios. Um, let's see. Latios, Latios, Latios. A Draco Meteor to Typhlosion. Wait, why does that do... Why is that doing nothing? Oh, that's through light screen! I'm an idiot. Okay, wait, Draco doesn't kill me. Oh, but I should've... No, I have to switch. I think I have to, I think I have to switch here. 
I think I have to switch here. I think I have to switch. If he Dracos me now, I don't even know if I'll live this turn, but I'm pretty sure I have to switch here. I need him to get as weak as possible. He's gonna Draco. Is that gonna kill me? I have pretty good special defense. God. It doesn't kill. Okay, that's really, 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 really good. Do I D-dance now? No, because he's scoffed. Why would I do that? That's a stupid move. He's gonna bullet punch me. There's no reason for me to do that. Why would I even think about that? Okay, I crunch now. Oh my god. So he's gonna be minus four. He's gonna be minus four. And I take like, I shouldn't take that much. I'm gonna take 22%, 22% into, do I flamethrower, 22%. Um, what if he's modest? Oh, I should have been keeping, I should have been paying attention. 25%. He's gonna leave me with more eruption damage. Unless he switches out, he can't one shot me. He can't one shot me with, he can't one shot me with Draco. He shouldn't be able to one shot me with Draco. Even if he's modest. Even so, even if he switches out. I think my play is. As silly as this might sound to click eruption here. No. Don't do that, Daniel. No, wait. I don't know if a flamethrower kills. Uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to kill this thing now. How much does bullet punch do? Scizor. How much does bullet punch do to me? Banded. Bullet Punch does like 30%. And he's minus four, so it's doing 25%. Da, 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 da. I think I I think I click flamethrower here. I'm gonna click flamethrower. I think I click flamethrower here. He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna try and kill me with Draco. I he shouldn't be able to kill me with Draco. Oh, but wait, if oh uh, actually if he puts me in range of Blaze. If he puts me in range of Blaze. What's what's Blaze's range? Uh Pokemon. Blaze. Ability. If I die to like a crit now, I, I just need to not get critted here. I just need to not get critted here. Uh, wait. By 50%, if, if, if we have less equal to, oh, a third. A third of our health remaining. A third. What's 33%? I need to get down to 55 health points. Draco Meteor. From Latios. Does... 132 max. If he's modest, if he's modest, it does 145 max. He shouldn't be able to kill me here. I need to flamethrower. He shouldn't be able to kill me here. 145 max. If he's max special attack modest. Yes. 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 That's blaze range. That's blaze. That's blaze. Now's your chance. Yes! Let's go, boys! Let's go! Yes! Oh my god, that was a nail-biting match right down to the last second. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am sorry about that fire punch, but... Without- I think it was- that was the only bit of hacks, I think, but oh my god, that match. Jesus Christ. What a nail biter, man. Right down to the last second. Oh my god. Wow. It put me in blaze range, which put me over the top, dude. We activated blaze, which meant that flamethrower was 100% guaranteed to kill no matter what. Oh my god, that's freaking insane, dude. Even if he had, like, max bulk, right? Yeah, it was gonna do over 25%, and I don't even think he had 25% left. Oh, I, I just realized I haven't been looking at my... Uh, no lines little health gauge thing this entire time, which probably would have been like really helpful, but hey <laughs> Oh, man, what a Jesus Christ. What a finish. What a finish. Thank you so much for uh For watching this battle with me. I hope you did enjoy it. My god 1-0 win for the Newcastle New Kings 3 and 3 sounds a lot better than 2 and 4 So I'm glad that we got this again, you know fire punch uh, hacks unfortunate uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if it mattered all that much. It probably did but again like I'm kind of happy that I got a little bit of hacks. But go and check out Otto. He's a great guy. He accommodated my schedule, which I really do appreciate. 
Um, his link will be in the description. Make sure you go and check out the WBE channel. Make sure you keep up to date with all of O's battles because we want to give our coaches a warm welcome. We want to make sure that our coaches feel welcome and um, that I, I don't even know what else to say. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much to our Twitch subs and YouTube members of the day. Remember, if you are a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber, that both gives you access to the sub Discord. And I appreciate you supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys.